Hello, everyone. Uh, well, let me just adjust this here, and I think we're good to go. What happened? Just started clapping. Oh, ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. Okay, so today I wanted to uh, try to practice uh, making a little flower. Um, and I think today we're going to try to draw. So, okay, so we're going to draw a little, make a little flower in Blender. Uh, with the lowest topology we can. So I was planning on painting uh, a specific flower. I believe this is a daisy, a daisy that we're going to be drawing right now. I have a little reference uh, picture right here that we're going to work with. Put this up here. Hey, Nick, how's it going? <laughs> we're back. It's got a little short, short break, short break. Um, oh, so for right now, uh, we're not going to use Blender specifically. Uh, we're going to use a combination of Krita and Blender. And guess who's back, back again? <laughs> uh, because this is going to, uh, this is going to fit in with a uh, low topology, uh, style we want to have for this flower. So... Now, when we're uh, we're when we're uh, going to set these uh, images onto a, um, I'm planning on putting these images onto planes, because planes are pretty much, um, <laughs> downloaded Blender, opened it, confused the noises, exited the program. I mean, we could open Blender. Hold on, I'm just not sure how much time I'll have for today to get to that part. I mean, I'm going to have to uh, finish this up. Hmm. <clears throat> finish this up uh, today for tomorrow's lesson. And I just wanted to practice a little bit of what I'm going to do. Uh, so here we go. We have a uh, blender opened up. There you go. And we will minimize blender because we won't. Uh, we're going to start with making uh, the image first and then we're going to grab that image and then insert it over as a um uh with our with our flower uh, or sorry our model in blender uh i'm trying to draw the tomato chan eye but i'm struggling oh no nick <laughs> let's just try a little bit harder and you remember that like you're just practicing here and everything so I know that I have this open up, but uh, right now the process that I'm going to take is that uh, usually in Blender, when you uh, begin a new image texture for your model, you, you, you usually have a square like image that we're going to work with. Now for this model, since we're going to make an eye and an eye, sorry, I'm confusing stuff now. Um, we're gonna draw, uh, uh, since we're going to well, kind of like the eye of the of the flower. I'm not sure if you would call it that, but um, we're going to paint the petals. We're going to, uh, I, I believe, paint the stem because this daisy, for example, has a... I could bring this image up on OB, uh, on the stream. Hold on. Grab a new image. <clears throat> we'll do an image. I will call that image. I'm gonna call over the image that we'll be using. Um, I'm really close up to the image, so I'm not sure how how big uh, it's gonna look like in the end uh, on the stream. I'll just close it uh, big enough to see what we're doing. Uh, we'll get. This one, here we go. 
Mm. Pretty sure we can use this image. I'm not sure. Hope we'll get in trouble for this. There you go. It's right there. <clears throat> so we're gonna try to make that image in there. Uh, I'm making an eye. No. <laughs> All right. So uh, again, uh, let me just see if I can bring this up here. Uh, oh, went a little bit ahead. So you can see here that uh, we sort of have um, we have a combination of whites, uh, yellow, green, and brown for the stem. Just bring that small over here. We'll put them right here, okay, just in case. So those are uh. Forget it. I think they're uh, black something daisies. So again, we'll we'll go to Krita, and I'm using Krita because um, of its open source nature. Uh, you can download this on your own computer, um, and you know not get in trouble with licensing and stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, do a new one. And again, usually oh, in Blender, when you're making a uh, a new image texture, it gives you a uh, square canvas that, to work with. So we're going to try to apply uh, those same resolutions over to here. Uh, so once you open up a new document in Krita, we're going to define the, uh, these two uh, width and height as pixels. And we're going to copy, I open up Blender here. And go to texture paint. We're gonna do new. We're gonna copy this over so it's 1024 by 1024. I'm gonna close that out. So right here, do 1024 by 1024, like so. And then creating this again, we'll just default 300 ppi. And this will create the same canvas that I had previously. I'm going to close this one out. There you go. And then we have this canvas available. Now, uh, we will draw with the white background right now, for right now. Uh, but what we're going to do after we're done or finishing the petals, we're going to hide the background color and then export it as a PNG with its uh, transparency on. So right now we'll use the white background as a reference. Uh, and you know what? Uh, since we're painting white for the petals, I feel like we should change the background to a different color. We'll do maybe this type of brownish color. We'll just uh, lock that one in. I'm actually not sure uh, how big we're going to make the petals compared to the rest of the uh, the image. So I'm just going to start a sort of draw what they look like. They're more like an ovalish shape here. Maybe we can make that bigger. Uh, let's see, a little bit smaller actually. I'm going to actually make a whole flower head here uh, so that we don't have to edit each individual petal uh, when we export it over to Blender. So it's sort of like an ovalic, ovalish shape. So oh, I'm looking at the my top screen instead of my actual uh, tablet. All right. So it looks to be that we have three things going on here. On the tip, we have uh, three sort of, yoop, yoop, like so. So I'll draw those in first. Uh, what would it be? We'll draw here one in the middle. And one like this.
Let's fill that in. Like so. And don't worry, we'll get to Blender really soon. This is after we finish drawing or painting these out. Gonna increase my brightness on my bottom screen. And they're a bit more pointy. I see that there's some that almost don't have the middle portion of the flower. Activate that. We do something like this. I haven't drawn this flower before, so bear with me here. Like, compared to everything else, it should be more. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Comparatively, it should be this tiny. Sorry if I uh, keep quiet a little bit. I just I'm just concentrating. Try to get this out. I think we could go with that. The problem is, it's a bit more. What would that be? a little bit more skinny on the bottom bits I think something like this would be fine if you have time later can you help me with the eye if not then screw it I'm gonna leave it eyelashes eyeless ooh spooky where did her eyes go it, they became uh, the the little uh, orb that she's holding, or something like that, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. I feel like com the comparatively, it, it kind of looks similar. Could leave it at that. Maybe take away a bit more here. Uh, take away a bit more here. Again, I'm not sure how much detail you'd want to put in this, but I think this would be fine for right now. Uh, I'm going to make another layer on top of this, and I'm going to put that in here. I'll call this guy Petal as a group, and we will leave this as 
the base and we can see that there's like little um uh what would you call it little not stems right like little veins that go uh three veins that go from the center of the flower to the tip of the petals is it two or three it looks like three could be three so we'll try to do those three three veins that it has so i feel like since it's playing around with gray how much of a gray do we want maybe this would be a good gray and actually let me let me fix this section right here oh not what i wanted Actually, let's use this pen instead. We'll go back and fix this little bit here. I think they'll be okay. Bring that there. And I'll do alpha right there. Or actually, one of the things that I like to do in Krita is instead of setting an alpha on a, lay on a specific layer, I set that layer on top with a group like so so you have the base color right here and then a group layer uh a group of layers and with that group of layers we set uh, alpha on so anything inside this older will combine with the bottom layer so for example if i go here and i choose the gray color again and go here you can see that it stays inside the base color and if i add another layer uh, with a different color here is that layer also stays inside um inside of that base color that we have art stream plus actual talking instead of cricket noises not possible oh, no, Nick. <laughs> so we'll delete this uh delete this layer we don't need it right now and we'll press the delete key on our keyboard to erase that section there <clears throat> get the airbrush I feel like would be nice for this sort of section and I'll do the outer outer uh, veins first Oop. not erasing where oh it looks like we're erasing but actually we're, we almost have the same color as our background so we have to go back to gray and do that again trying to start from the bottom here Right, bottom to almost like oof. this is why you need some of those gloves so you can so your hand doesn't get stuck on the canvas or on the display screen. Uh, something like so. And we'll use this little blur brush here. It's called a blender blur. Use this brush to sort of ease out those sections there. And we'll go ahead and that on the other side and we sort of make this sort of creasing type of situation also sorry if my head just disappears i'm just getting closer to my dis uh, display tablet and stuff I'm actually gonna talk during my stream. Starts to stream with mic and mouse clicking noises. I don't know what to talk about. I say hello to people when they join and all, but yeah, I'm not much of a talking person. My mic is right above the mouse, so you get to the sweet mouse clicking ASMR. <laughs> That's good though. Um, I don't know. I've, I've um, I've uh, I mean that was. I was like that, and I feel like I'm still like that right now, but, uh, what's it called? I mean, we still don't have a big of a following right now. 
Uh, and that's because I've I've just not talked in streams and like previous streams. But I'm trying to get the hang of just talking about what I'm currently doing. For this one, for example, I'm gonna flip the canvas canvas and create it with uh, the letter M on the keyboard that like flips you around. We're gonna do the same situation over here. Now I'm gonna change the base color again, or not again. I'm gonna change the base color to a little bit more of a grayish white, and then I'm gonna use the uh, the pure white again to go over these uh, side sections. I'm sort of just gonna use this one petal for for the entirety of the the flower. Well, best to get the uh, one petal out of the way, and then we can just multiply it over. Okay, so we have that, and then I'll just increase the blur, sort of ease out uh, the veins on the tips right here. I don't want it to be too veiny there. Go, and then we'll just go over the ex excess gray that we blurred out there. Just being careful not to uh, completely remove the creases. And I know the petal may not, may not look as straight uh, when making it, but it's not going to matter. Uh, uh, and you, you'll see in a minute why not. We're going to start rotating the petal around. A center, so don't worry if it's not complete. The pedal is not completely straight. Not, not, not all, all pedals are are specific, you know. They're not always the same. But then I feel like it's still a bit too gray there, but we, we're still missing one more line of gray right here. Try to get it as straight as we can. And we'll go over it again. Their blur tool. Um, it doesn't completely go to the end, so we'll just blur that one out there. There we go, something like this. Then, uh, we might we might not need to change the back of the flower to white. We're gonna try to have the have the a sort of uh, light shine on top of the petal, and not to its sides or anything like that. Um, and I feel like at the end we might go over over it with a bit of yellow just to simulate uh, the lighting that will reflect off the middle of the bulb. But we'll do that after we set uh, all of them around a bulb. We don't have that painted yet. Uh, my mic is right above the... Oh, okay. <laughs> just repeating the thing. All right, so... I'll just... that a little bit away. Do one more. And since we have grace in there now, uh, I believe that if we go over it with white... Uh, I'm using the blur tool, that's it. Like, why isn't it showing up? If we go over it with white, we might have... Uh, a chance to save these edges right here. Really hard to tell. Hmm. I think I think I'll make it a little bit more 
uh, the base color a little bit more grayish. Uh, let's see. So it's white, but we want it a little bit more gray, like that. And if we go over it with white, oh, we get complete white though. It looks like we can get the white out of it now. All right, so well, uh, we have the the airbrush right now. So these are all Krita's uh, default. Uh, brushes so you don't have to make your own brushes just use the default ones we'll go over this one like so and i feel like what's messing me is up is uh the the background i'm gonna make the background a bit more dark and i could probably tell the difference here There we go. All right, just have to look at it uh, far away enough. So we'll go like this, and then we'll use the brush. It's a bit too much. Hold on. All right, we'll have a little bit like that. We'll go over it like so. Oh, something like this. It's coming out. And we'll do that on the other side, flipping the canvas. We'll put that in there. And we'll do that on the outside too. Flip the canvas over, flip the canvas over and we'll do that on this side as well. No, I think I think that looks fine for what we're gonna do. All right. Found something I can add that makes the drawing a bit better. The skirt at the bottom looked so flat, so I'm making it a bit more three D. Show you in a bit. All right, Nick. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab the gray again. Have it a bit more grayish. Maybe a bit brownish here. Oh, not the blur tool again. And we'll sort of get some ambience in there. Uh, something like so. Mm, I feel like this is fine. Go over it once more. Just blur it out again. Just blur it out again. I'll bring it back. Like that. Could go over uh, uh, the little veins with this color too, but I, th I feel like this would be enough for right now. Uh, 
probably do a little bit of white to start. Actually, bring this over to a different layer up here. We don't confuse that layer later on on the road. We'll bring this up here a bit. Just looking at the my top screen to see how it's looking. I feel like that's fine. I'm just I'm still not liking this bottom bit, I think. Clean it up a bit more. Well I think we'll leave it there. You just see the section right here. I think they'll be fine for now. All right, yeah, I'll leave it like that. Okay. Then bring this color back on the background. Let's look at it again. We we'll change the background a bit more, like a bit more grayish, like this. There we go. You can see the difference here. Uh, okay. So we have the pedal done. Uh, now we're, I think we're gonna move on to the bulb. So let's see here. Uh, I think this is big enough. If anything, we can increase the size and use that to our advantage when we move over to Blender. So the image doesn't stay too sharp when we move it over. Let's see, we add one more. Put that in a group and then we'll call this one. What is it called? A flower bud, I believe. Call it bud. That's where the flower is going to come out of. So there's two sections of this daisy. Uh, I believe there's like the front of the daisy and then there's actually a backside of the daisy. So I'm not sure if to do the backside of the daisy. Uh, just because we're going to try to save on topology anyway. So... If you can see here, we have the front of the daisy, but uh, out of the bud comes uh, these uh, like sort of contrasted petals that are left behind. They're kind of uh, little furry petals left behind. They're connected to the stem. So that's where the daisy comes out of. Over here, you can see the bud here again. And then inside that, uh, those uh, petals that stay behind, uh, the other, the other uh, actual white petals come out of there. So I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll get there, and, and I'll try to see if uh, we should or shouldn't do that. Uh, it'll be nice because then we can uh, out of this, we can take the colors out for the stem itself. So, um. Let's do the bud. Let's get let's get there first. I will save this. Control S since we did the pedal. Um, we'll go over and we'll get a specific color. Let's see, sort of sort of yellowish, but I see orange in there too, and red for for the deep end of the little flowers that are budding in there. Not actually sure what those are called, but I think you can see them right. A... Let's see if I can do a little bit of a Google search here.
to see what they're actually called. I'll use my history here, actually. Daisy. So they are, they are called Blackfoot Daisies. So if you look that up, I think you'll be able to find uh, images of them. Right now I'm looking at images from um, a website called uh, wild, wildflower.org. So thank you, wildflower.org. <laughs> yeah, you can see them um, very clearly in uh, these images that they took of those daisies. So if you want to follow along, maybe look at those images. Um, so you could just look them up as a uh, blackfoot daisies. They're also known as rock daisies or plains blackfoot, as well as ar arnica. So there you go. Let's get back to this. Now we'll draw a little. Little high, high unconscious uh, bud. I'll draw it right on top of here to see the difference in size. Not blur though. We'll do the normal brush. Oh, I don't feel like it's this big. I feel like it could be this big. The daisy looks like it has about, what is that? It's four, five, maybe nine petals here. What I'm looking at. So that's four and four, so eight. So let's do eight. That's, a, that's symmetrical, right? Do eight, eight petals. Uh, so I think the bud would be that size. If not, we can. Go in and make it smaller. There we go, something like that. And then we sort of have like a texture right in there. Should we bring that one out? That one out. I don't want to make it too difficult either. Uh, so that's the base color. Could make it a bit more orange though. Oh, lock opacity, like so. And then from there, we'll use the airbrush here. Again, we'll set this in a group and then save alpha in that group. I'll sort of do something like this. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to see if we can find a pattern that'll help us create like a little bit of a uh, distortion. I sort of could probably use this these this looks promising can't see it though let's choose to multiply alpha oh this might work this might work oh i feel like i'm let's see how that works well this this kind of looks like it let me see if i can Scale that, and we want it to be smaller, actually. It looks like something like that. So, it's a sort of... It's like a sort of furry texture, so... Let me see if I can copy that sort of situation on there.
Right, and then uh, little orange bit. Let's see what's orangey red. Orangey red there. I feel like it's, it's some sort of mixture there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a really dark color. Not working. <laughs> Too brown. I feel like we should... Reset our brush smaller. Maybe it's a bad combination there to be a grayish yellow. Something like this. Alright, we're getting a bit of a greenish sort of tint there. I think it looks pretty good. Let's lower the capacity of these guys. And we're still missing yellow. Increase that there. And then I think just pure yellow up here. Oh, that's the blur brush. Go back to the airbrush. I feel like we'll keep it like this for now. And then I'm going to add another group in here for the bud. This one isn't going to have its alpha taken away. We're going to try to draw a little tiny uh, flower within the flower. Ooh, we're entering the matrix. <laughs> so I'll do, it looks like it has about five, so it's a kind of a star shape. Let's do that right outside here. Do one. Two. Two. Three. Four. Like this. Let's correct this bit right here. And we're trying to get these to be sort of spiky at the tip. And not as perfect anyway. Try to center it in here. 
just that bit of detail that it has. Okay. We'll get this color and we will start. Uh, let's see. It's like this. We'll start it here. Nope. Bring it out like that. Actually, let me. Actually, I don't think we have to worry about it. Like, I should put this on a separate layer, but I don't think it'll do that much of a effect. We don't need to save those types of effects. We can sort of... Because it's going to look very small on, on, on the flower. I don't think... I don't think we'll have to worry about it too much. And then I'll just go a little bit more darker here. I'll do something like so. And then I will bring this out this way. Like that. Yeah, something like that you know what we should have uh, kept it on a separate layer but you know mistakes were made just work with them right now some might even say happy little accidents We'll just make the make it uh make the little darkish areas reside. And I'll we'll keep opacity here. Oh, keep op oh. All right, I'll add a new one. Keep opacity there. The blur tool, and I want to have a an orangey color. Uh, let's see, not that orange, reddish orange maybe. This looks fine. Sort of have this here, right there. I'll just combine that with this. We'll add uh we we'll use the brush tool to bring back the orange bits right here. And it sort of makes it seem that it has a, a, a curvature on here. Like so, and then uh let's see. Have hmm. Add another one just just to not mess this up any further. And I feel like this here. Oh, and we'll apply the acidity here. We'll just bring the tips out like this. Uh, use the blur tool, bring it out this way. And then, uh, just to keep the little lips available here, we'll sort of line, uh, outline them here, like so. It sort of creates this illusion that they're, they're like even a bit more deeper than they should. Maybe they should, right? Like so. And... Uh, these look too defined, so I'll just blur this out right here.
All right. So we have uh we have our little tiny flower or the big flower. <laughs> it's not a mistake, it's a happy little accident. A smart dude with a afro named Bob. <laughs> also, he's streaming right now. His streams are always so chill and entertaining to watch. Does Bob Ross stream NG? I think so, right? I'm I'm pretty sure someone is streaming his videos. Like his other videos. I'm not is he still alive? No. no. No, hold on, Nick. You're bringing up a really good point. Hold on. Hold the phone. I need to know. I need to know. Bob Ross. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, at age 52, he died. Uh, yeah, though, don't you know? Yeah, I, I got confused because you were like, um, he's streaming right now. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm like, Nick, don't do me like this. I don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's, um, uh, I don't think he's alive right now to be streaming. Unless he's a, a, a ghost streamer, which in any other case, that's fine too, right? All right, so we have our we have our little uh, our little flower here. So a little mini flower for the bigger flower, and I think it's it looks good to scale too. So what we're gonna do now is I keep that call it mini flower. What is this? The shading. So this one we're gonna shift r well actually i'm using shift r i uh yeah even in the afterlife he's streaming art and spreading positivity <laughs> uh oh that bob ross you know him all right so actually not shift r so do b for the brush and i'm uh b for the brush and then i'm gonna duplicate uh this mini flower with this little duplication tool down here press that and we'll duplicate the group of layers and we're gonna do Control e and we're gonna merge all those layers so then we can hide our mini flower in every case we need it do a shift t and we'll bring them over here somewhere and we'll rotate them this way like so and i'm looking at one that has about uh what is that three or five six seven eight okay this this flower wants to go with eight each so i'm not sure how to make an array in creed us uh because in blender we would have made an array uh so we're gonna just do this by hand let's do enter I will duplicate that flower shift T. We're already in shift T, so we'll just have it here. Two. Just decrease the size, maybe. Uh, oh, I want to move it up here. Bring it right there. Oh, the original flower will duplicate that one with this guy this way oh you set them over here like so and i feel like we still have need a lot of work with this uh this bud there Duplicate this one specifically. Move this guy this way.
Oh my. Again? <laughs> <laughs> that and. Bring this flower down here. The saxophone. Four, two, seven, eight. We need three more. Let me just look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. One more, I believe. Right here. And one more. We'll bring this guy up here. This place needs a little bit more love here. here go. And lost track of all of them. We'll go this one. That guy right there. And I think we will get all of these merged, merge the, merge them, merge them to be right here. Okay, so I feel like we're still missing something, and it, it kind of feels like the the middle of this uh, daisy is like a, a cone ish, a cone ish shape. So I want to go back here in the groups above here, make another layer, sort of increase this a bit. Or do this here. We're gonna keep an inner circle right there. And then right here we'll go in here. This sort of deal here. Something like that. What's that? What do you mean? You? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I thought I thought like you meant like in our actual age. I'm like Angie. I'm like 22 years old. <laughs> yeah. I see one person. Uh oh. Uh oh, NG, stop. So then I will. Am I dream? Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it kind of looks like this. So then I'll just go in here again. We'll bring that down here. We will get our darkish reddish brown here. 
we will come to uh, I don't think that's right. Let's do go to red. Something like this. I didn't make the center really in the middle, did I? Eh, something like so. Alright, I'll just bring that down here. Then I really want to make uh, it dark around the edges, but I I, ha I think I'll see afterwards when we finally put the petals on it. See what we do with that. Oh, we do have a petal up here though. So for this one, we use like maybe a darkish brown gray. Oh, right here. Not the blur tool. Not the blur tool. I want to have this here. Then what we have to do is we have to push that back. It's reciting. I feel like the problem with the mini flowers is that they're like dark bits are way too dark for this flower. It's sort of not combining on top of here, so go in here, the merged flowers. I'm gonna have to paint on top of that. I'm gonna use the blur brush again. Yeah. Just to have this sort of ambient occlusion happen on our thing here. Uh, but the blur tool is so good though. I know, I know, Nick, but I want to try to like paint stuff on here and then use it. Not just use the blur, uh, the blur brush all the time. <laughs> we sort of put this here to simulate ambient occlusion right there. Just like so, there you go. and and they kind of see now. It kind of seems like they're with the model, not the model, the the painting itself. I don't think we'll go into that really uh, that far not that far in. So I'll I'll combine this these guys. So and we'll call these flowers right there. And then, um, now what I'm looking at is that the f the flowers actually have like tiny stems sprouting out of them, like a little bit of antennas sort of deal going on. So on top of this, go in here and we will try to emulate that. I'm going to look at a couple uh, other images here though. If I can find my mouse and not confuse it with like the mouse on the stream. Uh let's see here. So that's a Bob Ross thing. I 
I'm trying to look at them like way too far away in the image. Open image in a new tab. I'm not sure if they're like sort of coming out of the center of the flower or they're sprouting like on a different place, but it kind of, it kind of looks like they're, they're sprouting on a different place. That's not the flower. I'll just try to do that one instead. All right, I'll go back to stream. So these will go beneath the flower then. Sort of sprouting like so. We could use this brush. I think it's more antenna like. We'll do one. Smaller than that, like this small. Oh, I'm just trying to get the angle of them. Like we'll leave it there. That in a group. Like one alpha. Again, we'll just sort of root there. And so this combines. We'll just use the blur tool. It's not the best solution, but right now I think it's the best thing we got. Do this nice and quick. All right. I still feel like the butt is not getting enough detail. They sort of look like this. Not reflecting a lot of color on their surface. Work like this almost. They pop out like this, don't they? With this one like that, then I'll just go with the opacity and try to see where it fits. Is 
Doesn't look like I can figure this one out. Have something like this, maybe. Let's put it on the other side too. This butt has more layers than what this should. Kind of not liking this situation. I think we'll leave it like that. I think I think it's just a texture, really. Uh, can I show you the drawing with the thing I drew? Yeah, sure. Uh, send it over to Discord. I'll open it up. All right, I'll just leave that there. Uh, so okay, so that was the bud. I feel like we're just missing like the middle bits, but there's no middle bits there. It's from the problem is from far away it's not gonna even look that uh you're not gonna be able to see them anyway so i think we'll just stop right there and we'll continue making the rest of it so now what i want to do is do a uh let's see a copy of the bud plus the pedal here we go Move that up. Keep these these in front. Do Control E and Control E for this one too. Now we have a copy of a pedal and a bud in its complete form. And Shift T and move it over here. Then I can get the pedal here. Move it this way. So the bud, I'll move it right here. The pedal. We'll set it here. Put those two in a group. Bud stays above and pedal stay below. So shift T. Bring this right there. So now I need to set them in a way so uh, they have four pedals on each side. This wood has four pedals on each side, so we will not do that. Rotate. Let's switch shift. For that. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That there. We'll do copy. Then we'll mirror that using this button right here. I mean, that copy will mirror it. Just bring it this way. like that uh we will how do i do this so grab these two that copy mirror like that Copy, grab, flip, using the flipping tool that's for uh, in the selection tool, 
Um, oh, uh, but can I show you the drawing? Let me pile it up with the other unread messages. <laughs> All right, we have that. We have like four there. So, that down here. Uh, oh, this guy. Bring him down here again. All right, so we have two. Do another two. Stay up here. Duplicate. Uh, we'll duplicate that pedal and then flip it. Or not flip it, actually rotate it. Enter. So bring this one out this way. All right, we'll copy this guy. Put him this way. So, put it a little bit this way. Okay. Well, like this one here, we'll take it a bit more. All right, uh, I think we should move this guy over here. I'll be this guy over. Flip that around. I'll just take a little quick, quick look over it. Looks like something like that. This guy, put him up. Oh, okay. It wasn't refreshing fast enough. Something like that. I'm trying to see which ones to move around. I'll move this guy backwards a bit. And probably this guy a little bit more. I think like something like that would be nice.
Uh, so we'll call this one flower. And Okay, now we need to make a little... Okay, so we have to make the stem and the grass blade. Let's just quickly do the grass blade here. Uh, that'll... But okay, right here, we'll do a new group. And we will put this as hmm. we'll call this uh blade press blade. Let's see what color we can use. Sort of like a... Too much, it's too dark. Something like this. Oh. So now we don't draw in the group uh, layer, we draw in the actual layer itself. And we're still using the blur tool by accident, so... Switch that over. Oh, that looked nice. Did that work? Like something like this would be fine. This bit right there. We will sort of make a little thing like so. Mm. We just erase it up to there, I think. Me manipulate it and we'll deform it a bit by using the uh, transform with anchors. Try to straighten it out, straighten, straighten it out, uh, out a little bit. Uh, erase this bit right there. And then it looks like the blade of grass goes a little bit, uh, becomes lighter. It goes on so we'll do a new group do alpha keep alpha and right here in the same one we'll lighter color grass oh. v we could oh v we could use a line to portray that like so and with the Blur tool would just go over it. So we can quickly just get that little vein that goes through the blade. Like 
316 now. Sort of ends at the tip though. Sort of. Like that. Sort of expand it this way. Like so. I'm going here and we'll there's a little bit of a lighter color. to combine that color here to bring out a little bit of a shiny there It's not a completely, completely white. And, uh, could go for a little bit of a dark root here. Back and stop using the blur tool there. And go something like. That, and I actually want this color. Make that reside over. Not too much, though. Like something like this. And then right here at the tip will does it look like it's like a it's like a glossy finish so we might just go back to green i have a greenish white and go over it this Get a little bit of shiny up here.
All right, something sort of like that. A bit wonky in here. Or sort of leave it like this. I feel like we don't really need that much of a shine here anyway. Or the brightness of that. Or the opacity of it. Alright. The drawing chicken. Alright. See. Bring up this squid here. Actually, I should bring it up on. All right, let's see here. So this is. I can't I don't I don't see it, Nick. Uh where did you send it again? Maybe you didn't send the uh, in DM. Maybe you didn't send the right uh, image. I don't see the. I don't see any attempts of making the the eyes there. You can like check that out right now. Uh. See, I feel I feel like uh, we we could work with this, and I think that we might as well do the stem. Draw the eyes and improve the skirt. Oh, that's what I'm looking for, actually. Okay. You said you made you try to make uh you made it uh three D. Actually, let me check the previous pictures. No, oh, I see what you mean. So, what you added was the sort of back of the skirt. So I made the illusion of three D. You should, you should, you should really do some sh uh, uh, shading. Yeah. Oh. Uh, before I look flat, now it's a bit better. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I don't know if you. I, I'd suggest um you practice uh shading, uh, doing some sh uh rendering the the picture afterwards. It's um flat colors. Maybe you uh you could uh. Put in, uh, a bit more shading for, uh, the, the shadows, sorry, of the picture. As you can see here, that's the picture Nick is showing me. So we have the grass blade. Scoot that over here. I'll try to make uh try to make the, the stem.
go back in here and a new one there. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a brownish stem, so it's brown and reddish and green in certain places. So I think we'll start with brown. Brown here. I might just use this. Just keeps it uh, keeps it into a straight line there. I think comparatively, this looks like it would be the stem. So now we'll. This since this isn't going to touch with the with anything that we make in the UV editing. Oh, well, when we UV edit our our things together, and and then uh, this blade we can stretch it out and this stretch it out as well. So, oh, we're we'll nice. So together, I'll call this one just stem. And to be honest, we could just uh, steal the stem colors from a different. Um, from something we already have here. And I don't I don't feel like it's gonna work out because the 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 Blackfoot Daisy specifically has a a brownish color on the stem besides everything else. We'll just sort of just sort of erase uh, these bits right here. And, and uh, no, 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 we'll do an insert. I'll insert a new paint layer. Control G. We'll preserve the alpha. And we'll just grab a whitish color here, white grayish color. The same brown. Just uh airbrush. Am I doing this correctly? I'm erasing. We we'll do this deal here. Let's go over with the, the blur tool. So. A little bit more defined picture right there. And I'll just do a new one and we'll do the same deal over here on the other side. Since we have it on a, since we have it on a different layer, oh, we're not messing around with the other guy. Something like so, and we'll go over. Actually, this underneath. We'll go over with a reddish brown color in the middle. Again, not the blue tool. We want this tool. Let's 
just used to go here. Where to get this in the Blur that out. Then uh, see that it has a little bit of greenish areas in some certain places. So we're going to get a grassy green here. Does not look good. Get a little bit more. A little bit more. This one, this color looks nice. We'll do something like that. I think... I think we'll be done with that. What? Another robot? Get out of here, robots! Uh, Nick says, I could shade it, but I'm a lazy potato. Alright. Yeah, you know, just shade it for, you know, practice. And stuff like that. So I think we're done here for the painting uh, sort of part of this, and we still have time. So uh, um, okay. Uh, the bot attack! Oh no! going on I thought you were all out of here I hate these bots can't believe them they put a URL and it's like hey you want to click on this oh I don't okay so now that we have this Nick right I'm gonna take away the background and we're left with this and then what we're gonna do is really want to do the back part of the flower that's why I saved this little area over here. So if we ever need it, um, well, I'll just come back to it and we'll make like a another session if we don't finish this one. This, um, so I think we can. Uh, let's let me think. Okay, so our next step is we have this made. So this is our Creta file, but we actually need a PNG. Uh, right here, we're going to export. Uh, export it as a PNG. Like so. Ooh, Ooh Nick, here, here, comes, here comes the best part, Nick. We're at the best part. Uh, the robots, they, they, they didn't stick around to see this part, so it's a loss for them. So we'll save it right here as a PNG. Okay, we... We don't, don't compress the image file. We just leave it at like one, right? So that's done. So we can minimize this out. We have a nice uh, picture of Amelia right there. And open up Blender, just like that. Right here, I'm going to switch out of my pen. And uh, I think... I think I'll, I'll still work on the display anyway. 
Uh, Nick says, based on the extension I have, it says that it will take you to an app. It says view CLI app. So yeah, that's pretty sketchy. No, Nick, don't, 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 <laughs> don't follow the robot. Stop. Okay, so we'll go back and we will set up a new Blender file right here. Okay. Um. think maybe maybe if you if you want to follow along uh the tutorial uh not to this isn't a tutorial it's just like i don't know figuring out a way to make this if you if you want to follow along i'll just uh put the image up at my patreon so you can like you guys can download the image off of there and then maybe follow along to what's gonna happen next so yeah all right so we will head over uh, we have our default cube here and we'll delete it due to common courtesy uh and right here we will make mm, we will go straight to what would it be Okay, so we won't go anywhere yet, actually. Let me do this to full screen. Uh, we'll save this file as our... Let me just find my Dropbox and stuff. There, we'll call it... Uh, Z underscore Danny. Save the file anywhere you want. Uh, we'll go to. No, I don't think we need the image of the daisies anymore. I'm gonna take it off. All right. I'll remove that. And sort of thing i'll do shift a we'll add a plane like so go to seven and let's see we're going to uv editing but apart from that we're going to bring out our our daisy so we have our png here I'll drag and drop this over here. And should we hide that? Do that again. Drag and drop. There we go. And Blender sort of makes uh <laughs> you know what you know what happened? Um I was working at, in a merit side, so I was like what happened to the image? Why is it flipped around? And it turns out I was just working uh, mirrored. Uh, so that's, that's kind of weird now. My, my brain sort of like flipped. Like, what the heck is happening? All right, so we have our... Where is this? So since we know that this is all proportional, just have to unhide our plane here. And this, we will G on the Z, we'll move it one over like that. And what we're gonna do here, yeah, I was completely confused. I was like, what is going on? All right, so in here we'll do Z, hold on Z, go to wireframe. Oh, this is really trippy. All right. So we'll do tab and we'll keep our plane at the zero of all the axes. Yeah. All right. So again, put a tab. We're going to try to keep this origin point right here in the center. So what I really want to do. What should we do first? I think the head. 
me think. So that's there. So actually, we'll just move this over here. Having the origin, having the origin point at the center. And tab, so we don't scale the actual object. We actually scale the inside uh, locals of the object. Scale here. I'm missing some spaces for tab out of there. G on the Z. Uh, Z, G on the Y. Bring this down like so. Tab S, size that up. Size it up here looks like we're not in the center we didn't keep a center for the image but that's okay uh we could edit the e this way a little bit just trying to keep the center of the object here go as much as we can Tab, D, X. Try to keep everything even. Uh, that's the center. That's the real center. So I'm going to have to keep it there. Okay. So let's see... So now that we have that plane there, um, I'm doing this specifically as a reference point uh, to be able to have the, the, the image the same proportional size as our, our mesh or our plane, this matter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to UV unwrap this plane. We already have a UV unwrapped. So since we already have the PNG uh, ported into a blender by clicking and dropping, we can open it here. And then we will grab this scale. Bring it over here. Again, I think it's not going to be in the center anyway. Too bad I can't see the origin point here either. So... What I'm going to do now, now that we have that edited, our UV map edited, we can, oh, based on the image over here that we have, we can go over here into materials, add a new material, and we will use, uh, instead of the base color right here, we want to go to this little dot for the drop down menu and go to image texture. The image and the image texture we're going to use is referencing not this one, but we're going to do open and we should reference the one that we have inside our folder. And that one. There we go. And I'm not sure if it's in the same plane. Doesn't look like it. Did I get some stuff? No, no I don't care. <laughs> now it should have appeared here. Strangely enough, it's not. Gives. Ah, I get it. So since we're in wireframe mode, we should be in material mode and then we can see it. There it is. Seven. And I can see it's not in the center either, so I'm going to grab this over here and move it around. 
and try to get it as close to the center as we can. Like so. The X. There we go. Uh, uh, hey, Danny, I figured out how to improve the orb. It looks better now. Happy potato noises. Nice. That's really good. Yeah, because, like, the orb is going to be some sort of a, you know, center of attention and everything, right? So, it, it, it's really nice if it, if it like, uh, shows more of itself. A magical orb, sorry. Uh, okay, so what I, I think I should do here... So you see that that uh the little um like instead of looking transparent uh we we actually get this like black outline or this blackness around the image. So that's because we have to actually enter our nodes here and activate our trans our transparency. Now I know that uh over here we have a blend mode and it's uh, opaque. So what we want to do is do alpha clip but nothing happened and that's to be expected because what we actually have to go and do is go to shading the shading tab right here and since we have our object selected right over here uh, we have to connect our alpha channel to the alpha right here of the material and there we go now we have our daisy right there with transparency uh, ooh, I'm looking at it, but I don't understand anything. Yeah, that's fine. Um, again, well, I'm gonna put the session over on YouTube, so uh, you can follow it really quickly. Right here, we're not gonna pay attention too much at uh, the nodes for right now. Um, uh, for this section, so we're gonna go back into uh, UV editing and edit out our the rest of the flower bit of uh, the flowers bits and so we have the 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 head the head of the flower we'll go over here and call it flower head we edited that by double clicking on the title over here in the hierarchy uh, actually the scene collection now it's called call it flower head <clears throat> We'll move it, we'll move it over to, uh, it's zeros. So over here, um, uh, press tab to enter object mode or exit out of edit mode and do the everything to zero here. Now we have our flower in the center of the scene and then we can press H to hide it for right now. Uh, and we'll set up the scene later on. I think I just want to... Uh, probably, probably get this ready and then uh, try to set up the model afterwards. Uh, so... We, now that we have that, we'll go to 7 again. We'll do Shift A. We'll add another plane. This plane... Since we're gonna do the uh, the grass blade or the leaf blade next, uh, I'm gonna enter edit mode here and move it over to move it on the Y axis with G and Y, and then holding down Control, we're gonna move it over here so that the bottom of the plane reaches the origin point, uh, and then left click to accept that location. And this is going to help us uh, uh, connect, connect our our, um, our leaf blade onto the stem really easily by using the origin point as a point uh, as a point of reference. So this is a really important step to take. We'll enter the wireframe mode so we can see through it, and we'll enter object mode. We'll bring it over here. And we're going to try to 
get it right get it right here on the bottom bit right there enter edit mode uh, so we can edit the shape of our object g and the y bring it up all the way up here and then we will have this section size it on the x just bring it down here and looks like it fits it fits in there quite nicely so we'll leave it like that and we'll do a little bit of uh uh, of more topology here i think with with two two we can work with two uh two shapes right here so we'll start with that and then we'll do one that goes right down the middle so we can give it a uh a nice slice right there to uh, make it a bit more 3d-ish so it doesn't look f as flat um so I think now that we have that, I'm gonna go and head over here and we're gonna enter editing mode. And we're gonna see how it's, uh, it doesn't look exactly like the uh, model here or the plane here. So uh, Blender tried to do the ink, uh, the divisions that we made, but it didn't actually size to, uh, the, the plane as we would want it. So, we're going to actually uh, remake the uh, the the UV map again by pressing U, looking down upon it, and then pressing unwrap again, and then we get the same shape that we have over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna press L here, and again we're gonna size it. We're down here, and we're gonna try to. Move this here. Size it a bit. G and the Y. Like so. And then we can go over here to the plane's uh, material. We'll call this one grass or leaf blade. Like so. We have everything nice and orderly new right here we're going to go to uh again the base color do the image texture and then do uh the ones that we already have i believe right or we can actually open it up here i think it still goes to the same image like so and then we'll do z do material preview you can see that the same thing is happening uh, to this object uh, so we're going to go over here to blend mode. We'll do blend to hashed and it gives us a little bit more of a, uh, uh, <clears throat> a blur at the edges of our, of our, uh, texture. So if we do alpha clip, it does it a bit more, uh, actually you won't see it until I set up the alpha. So let's go back into shading. Have, uh, that selected. Do the same thing, grab uh, alpha from the image and put it into the alpha of the material. And there we go. And go back to uh, UV editing and you can see this. Uh, alpha clip is making sharp edges around our um, image texture. And then we can do alpha hashed. And it sort of eases out. Uh and blends it with the background uh so actually since i, I believe this takes more uh, alpha hash that takes more resources uh we're gonna go ahead and use alpha clip like so we're not using a bunch of resources of the computer itself oh, and uh, let me tab go back into the flower head and we're gonna do the same thing for this guy Oh, we already have it set to alpha clip. Okay, then we're good. Okay, so the, now, the, now the blade isn't, the, the image of the blade isn't straight, so we could actually sort of fix this, selecting uh, the faces here again. And uh, we, we wanna try to follow the middle uh, vein here. 
So over here in the UV editing, we could go in and do G and the X uh, and move this right here following the, uh, the, the vein. And then up here again, G and the X, move it over. Uh, and you can see over here on the right side that we now have a straight blade of grass here. So this is kind of a, a, a little bit of a cheat, but I think it's applicable in this sort of case. So there we go. Now, now our blade looks nice and straight and everything. So now we have that. We can scoot that over to the middle again where everything reaches zero. Just bring out this tab, set it all to zero. There we go, and we have uh, our blade of grass nice and centered right there from its origin point. <clears throat> now, this uh, the the stem is probably maybe the the uh, the hardest bit here that we're going to try to do. Uh, actually, let me go get a drink of water because it should have brought a cup or some. Voice is starting to get dry and everything. Be right back, actually. I have this a specific screen for that, that sort of situation, so I'll do this, and there we go.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about the wait. Um, I, I have a I have a family that apparently doesn't drink water, so they don't like. They don't care that we <laughs> we don't have water in the fridge. So there you go. Like fill up the water water and stuff. <clears throat> so uh, you guys bought some popcorn or or something to go with this because. That was a uh, intermission. I, I, I'm I, I'm guessing uh, I'm gonna complete this model after all. Hello, Nick. Welcome back, says Nick. Hello, Nick. I'm back. I right, so. Uh, where were we? We're gonna make the stem. So that's what I think would be the hardest bit of this. Um. All right, so we'll hide this with H. We'll hide that and uh, do Shift A. We'll add a plane, and this plane we're gonna do the same. We're gonna enter Edit Mode to try to keep the origin point at uh, the center. We'll do G on the Y, and we'll bring it up again so it reaches the uh, the bottom bit reaches the origin point right there. Uh, so we'll enter wireframe mode and I'm going to bring this down here to the stem we're going to try to align it right here uh, right there I think would be fine and we're gonna try to scale it up to uh, bring it over here so we'll enter tab uh, we'll hit tab to enter edit mode. Uh, we'll size this on the X axis so we can size it, make it look a bit skinnier right there. Well, and then we will grab this, move it with G on the Y axis. So G and Y on the keyboard. We'll bring it up to As close as we can possibly make it. G on the Y. Right there. Alright. And it's okay if we don't get this little bit right there. We're going to edit that later. Try to get the... Uh, we'll try to get the uh, plane as close to that, that section as possible. And I think we should do this with a... Uh, with a a cube out of all things yeah actually this is gonna be a bit weird I think. would i multiply that or we could just make it a single plane though i don't know i, I feel like we should uh, Nick says, I'll be going now. Good luck with your flower thing, and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, see you, Nick. Take care. Nice to have you on, though. Uh, have a good one. <laughs> All right, so... I think... I want to make this into a, a cube. Could just open up a cube... Probably set it over itself. I think I'll think I'll erase this. Right, and we will make a new mesh and we'll have a cube. We'll do tab. Make sure we're selecting all with by pressing A on the keyboard and we will G on the Y and we'll bring it up to the origin point again. S, X, actually, we'll, from here, enter object mode and we'll bring it down here. As close as we can. Right up here. Middle, in the middle, where it looks like to be the middle. X. S. 
Okay, so we'll tab, enter edit mode, and we'll size it on the x axis, bring it close to. We can have the straightest line here. S on the x. Okay, so it looks like we might want to. G. Oh. Tab. We're in uh, object mode, and we will try to avoid these sections right here. G and the Y. We'll bring it up there. We're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of the coloring. And we enter edit mode, size on the X. I think we'll have to leave it there then. <clears throat> uh, and then we're going to grab this bit. Uh, e and the uh, Y. And we'll bring it all the way up here. Like so. Uh, W. The Y. I think just about there. Okay, and then we have this like that, so. Uh, since we're still following the, the axis, is it just uh, A, C, what size would it be? And size, oh, size on the Z. On the Z. We'll try to make it squarish again. Yeah, like so. All right. Now that we have the stem there, it's seven again, and we will create a UV map for this guy. So we will seven. I think we'll mark a seam somewhere. We'll mark a seam. These two, you, mark seam, and these guys, mark seam, and we'll do one right here, you, mark seam. And then with that, we'll unwrap, and we have these guys available. But what I want to do now is bring these guys and put them up, uh, Right on top of themselves. G and how would I do this? I don't want to move an increment, so I'll do vertex. G on the X right here. Uh Then I think it will be fine if I grab this one, then. Let's do this. Like that, and then we'll grab this. B on the X. So, grab it again. B on the X. Like so. Grab this. We'll select this little island over here with L. Uh, by pressing L and hovering over it, G, and we'll just put this guy in here. I really have to concentrate on how that one will look. L, G, you can size this guy. Following his buddy, 
his buddy right there. Uh, and then what we want to do, want to grab this guy. See, go over here, and we'll sort of size him down here. Trying to keep its original size, so we don't uh, do any this uh, cause any distortion in the in the texture. Bring this guy down here, like so. And we will try to grab this guy and then move him over this way. Is that right? I feel like we should make it smaller. Do out to select that. We'll go back here to use as reference. Size again. Put down here. Okay, and then we'll do this again. Go up here. Grab this in the X. We'll scoot it over right there. Okay. And so, in this case, Nick says, yeah, it was fun watching you. Uh, it's nice having you here, Nick. So have a good one. I mean, if you're still here. <laughs> Take care. Uh, okay, so we have this. And now we just have to apply the material on it. So we'll make a new material. And uh, I should really be calling these materials. So what I'm going to do here is call this one stem. As well as up here, we'll call it stem. Like that. Leaf blade. This material, we're going to call it leaf blade. And then flower head. This material, we'll call it flower head. Okay. Edgy. Okay. <clears throat> so now we will get the stem. We'll enter a uh, material preview. We don't have the image on it. So again, we'll go over here and click on image texture. And we will grab this one because apparently it's just getting it from there. And we have it right there. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to... I don't think it needs any transparency. I think we'll be fine there. But what I am seeing is a little bit of error right here. It might be because we tried to, um, uh, try to cheat our way to making it like this. Actually, we can delete that. We don't need it anymore. For right now, I think this will this will be the the best that we'll do, and I'll try to see what the problem was with this. Um, actually, I think I know. Enter tab. Try to. Well, I can't rewind on here, so I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this section, and since we moved it over on the x-axis, we'll just use the vertex as our as our reference. So we're going to grab this, we'll do G on the x, and I'll trust that it's following, and we will move it right here. Looks like it did, so then we'll do that again. Do G on the x, and then we'll click on here. See this changed, and now we have our straight. Um, 
we have our straight uh, cube here again. So what we want to do. Hmm. You know what? I'm just I'm just going to reset the UV map again. So I'm going to hit uh, over here. We have it. We do a U and unwrap. We'll do this again. So let's just grab these guys. Oh, oh, these guys out of the way. So we got to try to find a way to have all of them <clears throat> move with each other. So they sort of wrap around each other. And what happened was that uh, we 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 warped uh, one of the sides because it went over itself, or I believe it stretched out more than it should. So to accomplish, to try to avoid that. The final way to maybe grabbing this guy. G on the X, moving him here. Okay, it's sort of like we're folding the paper over this way, and then from that we're going to grab this guy. G on the X and move him right here. Okay, and then what we're gonna do with the last one is grab him here, G on the X and like so. I think that would wrap around itself and it actually looks like it's working. You can follow here, the leaf wraps around here and that's just a multiplication of this leaf right here, which isn't get grabbing the whole thing. If I do L, select that and move it over maybe here, right here where we can see a bit more detail. And see that the image isn't uh isn't stretching anymore so that's nice to see all right we're back in business uh let's see what we want to do is we want to grab this guy on the x-axis uh and here we'll size him down I'm here again. Increase his size like so. We still have a little bit more space. So I think that'll be fine. We still have space up here for anything else. Next, we're going to grab these guys and we're going to move him G and the X. Holding down shift, you can move it a bit slower here. I believe like so. And now we don't have that uh, those weird unproportional things happening to our model then here we can set the shading to smooth and we can see a little bit of the stem appearing to be more uh, roundish because what we, we don't want to add uh, more more topology onto this uh, than we need to uh, so before I forget let's uh, we have uh, these guy these islands over here floating in the middle of nowhere we're just gonna grab this guy we're going to do the same technique we did G on the Y this time. We'll put it on top of itself. And we will grab this guy. Move him. And since we're not using this part, just use it for this section. Size them down. Like so. There we go. I think that'll be fine.
All right, I'm going to save this. Uh, because if I don't think we saved since the last time, I don't want us to lose our our blend file just like that. We have that ready. Uh, click seven, see the top view. Let's return this guy to zeros as well. Enter. There we go. Step back. We'll do Alt H to unhide everything. Um. Oh, this is strange. Why is it doing this? It might be because it's on top of itself. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, we're just gonna have this like this. Um, hmm. I just realized that our stem isn't standing up, so I'm not sure if maybe doing this in edit mode will affect it. The UV map. So if I do uh, G. And on the X, do 90. No, oh, uh, rotate on the X, do 90. And actually, we want to do this on the on the origin point. So since we already have our uh, 3D cursor at the center of our scene, don't have it on the center. We do Shift C. Now we do. So we're gonna go over here and uh, rotate around around the 3D cursor. So now we can rotate this stem on the x 90 and then we have it uh looks like it kept this uv ed, uh, edits so we're okay uh and we, we're doing this in edit uh, mode so that we can keep our um <clears throat> our global um our global locations of the object on its zeros on rotation and location and scale so from there we can edit it however we want or enter edit mode so it keeps its scale to um it's uh, it's one like on a one 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 ratio so we want to mess around with that global scale again we'll control s we'll save and we're going to move these guys over to a different uh a different scene so we don't uh, accidentally edit these guys so let's go over and add a new scene right here we'll do a new collection actually new collection and we will grab this the stem leaf blade and flower head we will move them to the scene two for safekeeping and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a shifty duplicate and we will move those guys back onto our original section. Close this out and then we'll make uh make these guys unviewable on the display. So like if I close this out, then we have our original guys here. Yeah, there we go. Click on that, uncheck that. Our collection is safe and sound on a different our objects are safe and sound on a different uh, collection, so we don't edit accidentally edit those. We can ref uh, duplicate those back in, and we've uh, failed on something. We can rescue, we can rescue that. Uh, we can rescue that. Um, uh, those models again. So, I feel like we should start to see how our daisies look like here. They sort of they sort of have a little bend to them, and they're always facing towards the sun. So I think we'll try to make them facing a little bit. Going to the top, but arching themselves a little bit. So, try to uh, copy that sort of idea. And uh, for this... Flower head, I want to also uh, sort of include a little bit of curvature on him. 
So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to enter edit mode, select this face and press I to make an inset. And we will move this down to here, maybe somewhere like right here. And then this won't edit our uh, UV at uh, UV map so much. So we can grab these guys. Put a one and then bring him up. One like that. And now we have a little bit of a little bit more of a 3D flower head here. We're probably moving maybe one more. Let's see. Like so. I feel like maybe we have it nice going. Nice and going like that. Like this guy is still floating. I don't actually have them. Yeah. That does it. Yep. All right. So we could we could just stress maybe the the thing enough. Well, I also want to set these guys to sh uh, shade smooth or the flower head, and then also the grass blade not the grass blade the leaf blade here it's smooth so when we do our editing uh the, the flatness of the models aren't going to appear as much uh then i'm going to hide this one and we're and hide this guy we're gonna edit this guy a little bit so we have the same situation going on i'm gonna grab uh, these guys on the tip of the blade and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move them up a little bit uh while not moving uh the center bit right here what a one e and the z and we'll do it maybe halfway so move it up 0 0.05 like so see we have a little bit of curvature looks a bit more 3d ish i feel like we could grab these guys and we move them up a bit more P and the Z we bring them up to another point zero five so we have them at one now I think so alt H hide everything All right so our daisies are sh short and stout, so I feel like we're still missing a bit of length here. So I want to get them up to here, maybe. The G and the Z. Move this guy up here. Oh, what's that? Okay, I didn't grab this section, so make sure you grab the entire top. And the Z. Be up here. Um, I think maybe a bit more. In the Z, we'll move it. I think that will be too much. So maybe something like this. Halfway there. And then we will. We could curve a bit. So on our three, we'll curve it. Uh, we'll enter edit mode and we'll add. What would it be? Maybe like two loop cuts here. Or sort of. Uh, 
activate this little dot right here, proportional editing. We'll select this loop right here. Just make sure you select the entire thing. So we'll enter wireframe mode. We select everything and then your trigger mode again. We're going to move it a G on the Y. Oh, and also don't forget to reset your transform pivot point to a medium point where we had it before. So G and the Y. We'll sort of. Mm -hmm. Bring them back this way. Wireframe here. Deactivate the proportional editing because I don't think it's helping us that much in the Y. Y. In the Y. Y. There we go. Something like that. Check the material mode so we can see what's going on. And we'll go in here. We're going to try to eyeball this. We want it to angle the head to angle a little bit. Oh, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to eyeball this. I'm going to angle it sort of this way. It's a bit angled towards the sun, but not that much. Like so. We'll grab the head. We'll move it up here. Close to uh, the tip, and we will rotate the head a little bit. So, making sure they don't cross each other's path, else we'll get uh, weird artifacts. We can get a closer look in here. So. right so let's see i feel like we're, um, we're missing a, a little bit of what the flower head should be i'm gonna add another inset here hmm not sure if we can either. I kind of messed this up. We grab maybe these guys. X and then maybe dissolve faces. Not uh, remember choice. Here, dissolve face. Oh, we can't. Oh, edge loops. Now let me head back in here and take away my emulate three mouse button. So using that, but solve edges. Looks like we could, we could save. Yeah. Okay. So we're not faces edges. Looks like we can save this, so. X to solve edges. And here, oh. X, solve edges. So what I want to do, I want to grab the faces around here. And set, and I kind of want to try to get it. Right here, maybe. And I'm going to grab the edges. Solve the edges. Now we have a bit here. 
these edges and we will bring them out uh, G and we will we will use a transformation in the local axis of the model so that's why we didn't mess around with um, scaling the object uh, beforehand because now we can G and use Z and the Z local axis the local Z axis of the model so Z this is global and then Z this is local I'll pull these guys out like so we have these guys G and the Z Z again and we can pull these guys out too we can sort of get that uh that that little curve that we want for our for our flower okay I feel like that would be too much topology though this all faces it we could still do it with this uh this going on I think that's fine. Yeah, so if you want to keep editing the way though you want your flower to look like to you know, it'll be fine. And here let's do control shift S and we will uh call this one mark it as zero one to show an advancement. We'll mess around with the original save blend and then from here we're gonna just uh, uh decorate it a bit with with the uh, the little leaf blades that uh these daisies grow uh it looks like it looks like some of it stays right where it sprouted out but some also follow the stem as well so I'll just sort of copy that by seeing a bit of a reference. So right here, you can sort of rotate this guy. So we don't know the Z. You can scale this guy, but I would suggest more to edit it and again since we have our accesses we don't have the, our accesses edited that much we can uh grab these guys like so g and we have its y-axis looking um towards the back so we can do y on the y and edit the ship actually not edit the, uh, the shape of this one so we can use as a duplicate so we'll just grab that one shifty now we will rotate on the z we're to set it over here rotate it x x local axis like that tab g on the y y local axis we'll grab this g y y and we'll just make it a bit bigger. G, Y, Y. Make it like that so it looks a bit stubby. G and Z, Z. We can curve it like so. G, Z, Z. And so we grab this guy. G, Z, Z. This guy. G, Z, Z. Just like that we can edit the model as we please rotate in the x x right and we can grab this guy again shift d um rotate this guy again on rotate on the z global and Rotate again. X. Get it right close up to the stem. X X. Tab. Of this section right here. E Y Y. And 
Y Y Z Z Z Z Z Again, if we want to make this look a bit more different, uh, we can put this right here. Size on the X of the local axis. Probably have to enable proportional editing. Again, size on the X, X. Mm, I don't like that. Right. We grab these guys manually. Size on the X, X. And I think the problem is that we should start from the base increasing the, the leaf of the stem. X. Size X. X. B one Y. B one Y. You see, like so, and then you can grab these two shift D, take it around the Z axis. Maybe you don't want to bother with trying to shape each leaf Z to your own liking, so we'll just grab this guy and then. Take down the Z. So, sort of shift it around a bit. Oh, rotate on the Z. So, and you're like, ah, oh, it's still too similar. So, we can just rotate on the X, X, local, and just bring that down. Maybe rotate on the X, X, bring this up. And we sort of uh, take our. Uh, take it to, uh, I don't know, uh, you can take it wherever you want from here. Right? Uh, I still feel like the stem's a bit too short. But I think we could probably call this one uh, done. Maybe we want to shift E, grab this guy. Want to... Look at the front, uh, move it on G, the Z, so, uh, and then on the, the side G on the X, no, G on the Y, guy over here, the top down, this guy over here. In the X and the Y, like that. Just grab this guy since he's a new leaf. G Y Y back. Y Y. Oh, G Y Y. Well, not Y. G, Y, Y. And back like that. It's a bit short. There. Z. And size XX. This. Z, Z. I did those two as well. Do shift the rotate on the Z globally. Since we don't have it at, at the center anymore, we're just going to have to edit that section here. Try to move it to edge of the stem. Z, 
aqui. Size on the mix. Size on the X. In the Y. This guy G in the Y. Or draw him. Be a bit lopsided. Z Z. For these two G Z Z. Z Z. There you go. Something like that. Well, I'll teach the flower back there. There you go. So, uh, what else? We can go in and probably remove this uh, sort of glossy uh, things that are happening right here. And also, the reason why I wanted to make the back side of the flower is to try to cover up this section here that we have. But uh, we can just, with the same topology or mesh that we have here, uh, we can try to mess up here. Put it back. Grab here, here, eyes. To cover that up. Pull this guy back. You sort of make a little bit of simple geometry there to cover that up. And now we're gonna look at the materials. So this doesn't look that glossy. And since this is a little flower that you won't be able to see that much, um, basically just gonna walk above it anyway. Uh, really, there's really no point in trying to make anything here, unless you're making like maybe. Uh, oh, look at the giant flower! <laughs> sort of deal. So, you can grab this guy, and then what we're gonna do since we already made um, we already did some shading of what the. Now, we already made some shading for what we have on our, our glossy areas sort of way. Uh, we're going to, uh, our specular, sorry. We already rendered our specular over here with our painting. But we're just going to remove that off of all the parts of the flower. Uh, because they're not going to shine off anything in particular go this guy too this looks like it's occurring due to the lighting this up here see a, a difference there it's kind of hitting the exact position to reflect off of our little um, our little conundrum right here, and then it's sort of like phasing through the the f uh, uh, the flowers material there. So yeah, that's sort of weird. Anyway, we're not gonna use the scene lights. We're gonna use the scene world. So. 
Two will set them into a field. There we go. A bit more natural. And again, for this one, we're going to remove the specular completely. So, for this guy, and we'll remove the specular. Ah, I believe this, this guy we already did that for him, right? Yeah. All right. So there we go. We'll do Control S to save. And I sort of combine this with the field that Blender provides for us. We have uh, our little our little daisy right there in the field. Uh, try to get an angle on him. Go to maybe lay out. Control S. Select all of these and hit period here so we can rotate around it. Do the same thing over here. Uh, throw the roll the opacity again. Them in the field as well. So leave the blur how it is. Try to hide these guys. Of you, and there we go. Have a little Blackfoot Daisy. Um, right, right there. Uh, we can do shifts. Nope. Little space. There you go. We have a cool. Green of Daisy right there. There you go. Okay. Um, I think that'll be it for today. Uh, so that was a long session. <laughs> That's like three hours, NG. We're like done with class and everything. You want to see the daisy? Come over here. Come here. Hey. Come here. Like it? Pretty. pretty daisy. Look at that. All right. Okay, so we got Angie's approval. It's a pretty good daisy. Uh, thank you, everyone who stayed throughout the entire thing. Thank you, Nick, for joining for the first half. Uh, I guess, I guess I'll catch you guys, uh, next time. Maybe we'll try to finish the, f oh, we'll try to finish the, f uh, little mushroom or fungus or fungi <laughs> so we can put him together with this flower in his own little scene. So I, I hope, I hope maybe you learned a little bit, uh, of something new and uh during this uh and if, if you've if you followed along and maybe made something yourself maybe you made a rose right or maybe you made like a tulip or something a different type of flower um it'll be nice to see uh to see what you guys uh made so um uh, if you can uh tag me uh on the social medias uh my nickname will always be hurricane bro 30 so i'll uh you know it'll, it'll be it'll be nice to see what you guys make so i'll end it here and uh have a have a good day <laughs> right uh so th this stream uh was sponsored by uh, a youtube channel called when the universe burps um it's uh uh it's our channel, actually. I'm, sp I'm sponsoring our own. Ch I'm plugging it in into this Twitch stream. So, if you want to see more of this, uh, uh, 
follow, no, uh, subscribe at our YouTube channel. It's in my about section on Twitch. And if you're watching this on YouTube, well, uh, uh, there's a link to the, uh, the Twitch uh, channel when we do this live. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, have a good day. Uh, watching this on YouTube, like, uh, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment what you thought of this. And uh, okay, everyone, take care. See ya. Say goodbye, NG. They can't hear you, NG. You know what? I'll take it. She said bye. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye-bye.